Hello guys, welcome back to another video today. Today is my Premier League predictions for week 37 for most, week 35 for others, week 36 is all up in the air due to cup, plat, cup uh, games and everything else that's gone on in the past for this season. But anyway, this is my predictions. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my Brighton uh, a Man United match preview. Uh, I hope it gave you a bit of an insight to what I'm expecting from both teams. Um, if you do want to go see that, go back on my channel. It should be the one underneath this one. Uh, give it a big fat thumbs up uh, if you enjoy it. Be much appreciated. Uh, guys, right, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Give it a big fat thumbs up. And let's go. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is the one I'm going to do. It's the last game at the event this season. It's Brighton vs Man United. Obviously the previous team meetings. Uh, it's luckily gone United way. Um, obviously before we met previous to the league and the cup uh, games. You've got the 1983 FA Cup final. Um, Obviously, when you like as well. As well. I think it's going to do a slight twist this one. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually say I think it might be a draw. Uh, I don't think United will come down here expecting what they expect from a personal point of view. No offence against United whatsoever, but uh, we've managed to turn Arsenal over down here. We've managed to. Uh, we managed to do a, a draw against Tottenham, which is quite recent as well. So for that one, I'm going for a draw. Um, now the next one, now this is a bit of a difficult one for me to call because of the uh, Brighton Palace rivalry. Um, but yet again, this team can't catch us up no matter what happens. So we've only got two more games left. Um, and we're on 37 points, they're on 30. It is Stoke versus Crystal Palace at the Bet365 Stadium. Um, so for that one, I'm going to just shout out, I'm going to go Palace away win. I can't see Stoke doing Palace, mind you, I could have said that about the Liverpool draw the previous weekend just gone. Um, but anyway, for that one, I'm, I'm going to call it a Palace away win. I think Palace have got something about them just recently that they didn't have under their, new, their manager at the start of the season, but they have under Roy. It hurts me to say, obviously, being a Brighton fan and obviously a rivalry between the two clubs, but as you know, if I do a straight down the middle, no Brighton, no Palace, nothing like that. This is a neutral point of view from a neutral fan. So for that one, I'm going Palace away win. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is, and it can have <coughs> uh, conversations with Brighton. It is Bournemouth versus Swansea at the Vitality Stadium. Now, Bournemouth have gone through a bit of a dip in the past couple of weeks. Lose it to Southampton in the derby, or their derby I should say. And then, I think they lost the previous week, but I can't remember who to. So for that one, I'm going to swing in Bournemouth favour, and I'm going to go Bournemouth home win. The next one I'm going to talk to you about, and yet again this can compensate with Brighton, um, is Leicester versus West Ham. Um... At the King Power Stadium. Now I didn't actually go to the King Power Stadium, but I know teams are finding it tough to play Leicester at the at Leicester's uh, ground. So for that one, I'm going to go and call it a Leicester home win. The next one, now I think it's got a possible chance of being a draw. Um, it's Watford versus Newcastle. Now for this one, do I go? 
to actually go with what I'm thinking and think it's going to be a draw. Obviously, Newcastle lost to West Brom weekend just gone. Uh, if I go and draw with this one, and you got the. If I draw, they can still fall out of the top 10. If I win, I don't think they're quite safe as it stands. I ain't no chance to look at the lead table. So, for that one, um, I'm going to call it a draw. And the next one, it's a couple that already thinks down, and this is going to basically put it in there. Um, it's West Brom versus Tottenham um, at the Hawthorns. Now, I went up there uh, for the Brighton game. Uh, I was disappointed with the way Brighton played. I ain't going to say I wasn't. But for Tottenham to do that, uh, I would find it very surprising if Tottenham did play quite disappointing considering they still won that top four. Um, excuse me. Um, so for that one, I'm going Tottenham away win. Sorry again. Now the last one on the Saturday it is Everton versus Southampton uh, at Gridderton Park. Um, Everton versus Southampton yet again can have, uh, co co they have things with Brighton. Um, Southampton still in the relegation zone. Um, I think if they're going to try and survive, this could be one game where they're going to have to try and win. Uh, I don't think it gets any easier for Southampton. Um, obviously, it don't consider it's coming into a close closing stages of the league so for that one I'm gonna go and Everton home win I can't see Everton folding at Griddison Park considering the fans are not happy with Sam I don't know why um, now on to Sunday's games and it, the first one uh, is Man City versus Huddersfield um, now I can't see City, I can't see Huddersfield doing City um, purely because they're on form they're after that uh, is it 100 goals margin, 100 points, something like that um, I, re I, I do reckon it could be quite a hefty scoreline um, I wish I did have a bit of a advice for Huddersfield but every time I watch Man City play they always work away around you um, so for that one I'm going for Man City home win the next one is Arsenal Burnley um, now Arsenal coming a bit on form um, now this game going to have complications with that if they get through to the final of the Europa League uh, Arsenal fans ain't really got nothing to play for uh, we gave Burnley the European spot by drawing with them the previous weekend uh, I reckon that one will turn out to be a draw uh, no disrespect to Burnley, no disrespect to Arsenal I just can't see you scoring, I watched the Brighton Burnley game Burnley didn't click with the likes of Chris Woods and Ashley Barnes so that's why I'm going with that draw. Now the last game on the Sunday is a big one it is Chelsea versus Liverpool at Stamford Bridge um, now Chelsea are out at top four uh, that if they want to try and squeeze in there, we're going to have to hope results go their way. Um, same with Liverpool, uh, I'm not sure if they're quite safe in there yet. But the way Liverpool plan at the minute, um, especially against the top, so-called top teams, I'm going to go for a Liverpool away win on that one. Now I'm just going to bring you a few more fixtures midweek. Uh, the first one, yet again, kind of complications on the Bright, uh, Brighton. 
it is Swansea versus Southampton. Um, obviously, a catch up game. Now, from a Brighton perspective, I would really hope Swansea wins this one and relegate Southampton. No disrespect to Southampton. Um, obviously, I'm thinking of the Brighton side for that. But if I'm going from a neutral point of view, I still reckon you've got a draw out of that one. I can't see Southampton winning it at the Liberty Stadium. Um, under the under Swansea's new manager, t teams are finding it tough to get some points against them, especially at home. So for that one, I'm going for a draw. Now the last one, oh, okay, there's a couple of catch-ups. Didn't realise that. Um, so the first catch-up is Chelsea Huddersfield. Yeah, again back at Stamford Bridge. Um, now, now yet again, I'll go Chelsea home wing. No disrespect to Huddersfield. If Huddersfield can get a point or maybe the three, which is possible against Chelsea, I'm going to say it's not. Um, that'd be a good win for Huddersfield, secure them safety for this season. But I still can't see it. I watched Huddersfield and Palace a few games back when Brighton had a cup game, I believe. Um, you know, you looked off the pace. You did no disrespect to Huddersfield. You didn't quite click um, for some reason. So for that one, I'm going for a Chelsea home win. The next one is Leicester versus Arsenal uh, at the King Power again. Now this is going to be a really good game, I can see it already. Um, now as I said it all goes on Arsenal's um, convocations with uh, Euro uh, Europa, or whatever you want to call it. But I think Leicester will get a point out of this one. So for that one I'm going for a draw. Now this is going to be hard. Man City versus Brighton at the head they had. Now if you watch my, pre my uh, preview show of the main United Brighton game, uh, you know I can't make this one. Um, even knowing how much I would like to go Brighton will get a point or a win, I really can't see it. From a natural point of view, I'm going to have to say Man City home win. If you are travelling across this weekend, do be safe, uh, stay safe, hope you have a safe January wherever you're going up and down the country, um, you know, take that for me, I really do hope to save, uh, the thing that happened with Liverpool Roman, no one deserves that, um, so just stay safe, safe journey, enjoy your day out, cheer your team, and just see what happens. And now the last one is Tottenham versus Newcastle at Wembley. Now a long trip for them Newcastle fans for a Wednesday night. A very long trip. I've done the Brighton Newcastle last season. Um, there and back in one day. Give you a fair idea how far they are. Um, we didn't get back home till half two. Half two, half one. Mind you, a bit of the motorway was closed, which we needed, which we couldn't, so we had to. But anyway, I got him about half two. I left about half eight. I got there about half one, two o'clock. So you can roughly tell the time distance. Um, but for that one, I'm going to have to go for a Tottenham home win. All right, guys. This brings this video to an end. You know what to do? Give it a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and ciao for now.